Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Health is Easy with X Tina. Tonight for dinner, we are slothing it. I'm in Brian's sweatpants, no makeup, hair has not been done, and it's all good because we are having some comfort food tonight. It's been raining and thunderstorming here in Florida. So tonight we are having taco stuffed sweet potatoes. I recipe tested these last week, and immediately after Brian was done eating them, he was like, when can we have these again? They were that good. So I'm so excited to bring you this recipe. It's so easy and it's a recipe that looks like it took all night to make when if you just prioritize properly, which I'm gonna walk you through, this recipe is so, so simple. So what I cannot stress enough is to prepare things ahead of time like the sweet potatoes. So we want the insides of the sweet potato to be cooked. So we're essentially, you wanna like, act as if you're going to mash the sweet potato so you want to cook it for about an hour in the oven because we then cut it in half and then scoop out the insides not all the insides you definitely want to leave some flesh inside so you can get that sweet potato flesh with every bite of the cauliflower that we're going to be making and the ground beef that we're going to be making so if you were to start this recipe like when you're hungry when it's time for dinner that's what's going to get you all frazzled and what's going to make you feel like this recipe takes so long. So please make the sweet potatoes ahead of time. It is about 6.30. We're probably going to eat around 7, 7.15. And I made the sweet potatoes at around 4 o'clock. I didn't bother filming it and showing you because it was so easy. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through it verbally. So all I did was preheat the oven to 425. And I took my sweet potato with a fork and I just stabbed it all over with a fork. I think I said that. I took a fork and I stabbed it all over with the fork because that makes it cook a lot quicker. It releases that steam within. And I cooked it for 30 minutes, just whole like this. And then I flipped it and I cooked it for another 30 minutes at 425. So for a whole hour. And then I just took it out of the oven and I let it cool. So I'm going to cut this one for you so you can see how I do it. But all I do, all you do after it's done and it's cool is you cut the sweet potato in half. You take a spoon and you just hollow it out a little bit. And then you have all this leftover sweet potato or you can have it on the side, whatever. If you have a hungry husband like I do, you can add it on, the, on as like a side dish or something. But let's cut my sweet potato. This is going to be mine. I have a bigger one for Brian and a little bit smaller one for me. And we're just going to scoop out some of that flesh. And when you're buying the sweet potatoes for this recipe, you want to buy a sweet potato if you can, that is like more circular or oval like this. So because you want to have the filling to be in a little boat like, you know, cause we're going to be stuffing it. So super simple, just taking a spoon, and taking out some of that filling. You don't wanna take it all out because you want to have that sweet potato. And you can absolutely, you know, if you don't, if you don't wanna eat the sweet potato because maybe you think that you shouldn't have it because you shouldn't be having carbs or something, please don't think that way. This recipe, you're really not eating much of the sweet potato. Um, you're just having a little bit of the flesh inside. So you can absolutely make this with like acorns, acorn squash or spaghetti squash or butternut squash, 100%, but why, why? You know, this, the sweetness of the sweet potato is so good. That was one thing that Brian talked about when we had this last week. He was like, I love the bites when I get the sweet, sweet potato. So I really recommend doing the sweet potato. So this is mine, I'm gonna leave it like this. As you can see, the sides are pretty much hollowed out so I can really fill in a lot of that mixture, but I do have some sweet potato inside. And just so I get enough carb, I might even add some more sweet potato to mine after I stuff it just to make sure that I am getting enough carbs. Um, but by cooking this an, an hour, the skin and the flesh just like separate so easily. So. Just be careful, you don't, I don't want you to take out too much of the flesh. So I am just going to let these sit and chill for a little because it's not quite time to start cooking dinner. And this is the longest part of the recipe is it just roasting in, in the oven and you're not doing anything. So you pop it in the oven, 30 minutes, flip, another 30 minutes, you could be doing other things. You could be watching TV. We've been watching Housewives as the sweet potatoes were cooking. So it's just a really easy recipe if you just, you know, 
prioritize cooking um, a little bit, just prioritize cooking things that take longer and getting them out of the way. So I'm gonna let these just chill and then we are going to be, or you don't have to do this, I really like it in here, but adding some um, black beans. And so I already just drained them and they're just sitting, um, I just kind of like drain the excess liquid and I just kind of set it like that just in my sink. So that's already ready. And then the things that we're going to be stuffing this with is lean ground beef, which just browns up on the stove in five minutes. And then a frozen cauliflower stir fry blend that cooks in five, six minutes. So that's how easy this recipe is. So, And I wanna show you the riced cauliflower that I'll be using today. So this is from Trader Joe's. It's a riced cauliflower stir fry and it doesn't have too many veggies in it. It has green peas, red peppers, grilled corn, spring onion, but it is seasoned with ginger and sesame oil. So the Trader Joe's does not have like a uh, Mexican style um, cauliflower blend frozen. So what I, this is what I did last week and it worked so well because this is seasoned in more of like an Asian way. I, all I do is I just add some taco seasoning, some taco sauce, when I'm cooking it and it really does amp up that flavor to bring out like the Mexican feel because this is taco stuffed sweet potatoes. So this is like my little hack to make it just so quick and easy because it does just take six minutes. So I just want to point that out. If you don't want to get like the Asian stir fry and make it Mexican, you totally don't have to. It'll just be a couple more steps. What I would do is just buy riced cauliflower. You could do frozen or you could do the fresh riced cauliflower and then you can get um, just maybe some bell peppers or even fro frozen bell peppers and onions and saute those up and just make your own. But I thought this was just so easy and the flavor did not reflect oriental, Asian cuisine at all, it, just because I flavored it with my Mexican stuff, my Mexican seasonings. So wanted to point that out there. You don't have to use this, but it was great for us. It was so easy. So just because something is, you know, in the frozen section and it's marketed as like a, an Asian stir fry, you can totally amp it up and add your own ingredients, like my black beans, like the taco sauce. I'm going to be adding some jalap some pickled jalapeno. So it's really going to taste a Mexican. So I will see you in a few. I'm just going to let these sit and then when it's time for dinner, since this just takes, you know, 10 minutes to put together, it could not be easier and it's so, so good. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, so let's get started with the filling. So I have lean ground beef here from Trader Joe's. It's 96, I think it's 96.4, 96.4. And I just sprayed some cooking spray. It's on a medium high heat. I'm just gonna break this up just for a second, but we have our other pan going because we're going to be moving the rice cauliflower at the same time. So I have this pan, I just have like about a tablespoon-ish of oil, just some olive oil. The pan is on medium high and this could not be simpler, you just add it and you cook it for about five, six minutes and you're done. So if you wanted to do like an Asian stir fry, this is so great. We just had this last night. I know I'm doing it two nights in a row. We had this last night with shrimp. It was so good. And I'm just gonna let the cauliflower just sit and chill and do its thing for right now because it is frozen. I am just going to brown this and then I am going to season it with some taco seasoning and a little bit of salt. And that's gonna be done. <laughs> it's so simple. So I just have this taco seasoning from Trader Joe's. It comes in a little packet and I just keep it in my spice drawer or my cabinet just in um, with a little Ziploc baggie and it lasts forever. But you can also, I wanted to like give you something more generic because you could totally find taco seasoning pretty much at all grocery stores. But you can have fun if you have a Trader Joe's by you. They have such a great variety, especially for this type of flavor profile chili lime and everything but the elote. The everything but the elote is so, so good. I love, I love to I'll just sprinkle that on the sweet potatoes like right before I fill them up. So if you have Trader Joe's around, I would highly recommend playing around with those spices. And I'm just gonna, I'm not measuring anything. I really want this to be Mexican taco-y. So I wanna season it 
very generously. And in the oven right now, as a side dish, you can have this on its own, but like I just need more food. And I love to always make sure I have a vegetable. And I know that, you know, rice cauliflower, I am eating a vegetable, but um, I just roasted some broccoli just to help make us more full because we are just having like a sweet potato and remember that we took all that flesh out. So it's not like we're sitting down and eating a full sweet potato. It's really not that much. So I'm just roasting up some broccoli in the oven and I just have it at 425 with some salt, some garlic powder. And then when it comes out, I'll just add some lemon to it. And that's like the, my favorite way to roast broccoli. I am going to add some salt, a nice big pinch of salt to the ground beef. And I'm going to add some salt to the rice cauliflower as well. Salt, salt, salt. You know, I love my salt. And it's been a couple minutes. The rice cauliflower, honestly, like it's frozen. It's already done. So all we're really doing is just heating it up. That's, that's really how easy it is. So right now I am going to just add some of this taco um, sauce. This is from Trader Joe's, but go to the grocery store in their like international aisle and they're gonna have even like Taco Bell's, you know, taco sauce. So any taco sauce that you like, obviously look at the calories, make sure you're not getting anything that's like out of control. This is a tablespoon is less than one carb <laughs> and that's it. So not too bad. I'm just gonna add a good amount and all of this rice cauliflower, like this is a big amount of rice cauliflower. So like I'm not going to be using all of this. So I'm definitely going to have leftovers, which I love even more. So that's kind of like, I definitely meal prep still, but I love to make dinner that yields leftovers so that I know that like Brian's going to have lunch tomorrow. I can have lunch tomorrow. Or even like there's nights where we'll have the same dinner two nights in a row, or like maybe we'll have you know, this for dinner on a Tuesday and then we'll have leftovers and have it again on like a Thursday or like a Friday. Typically Fridays are like our leftover nights where I'm like, okay, what's in the fridge? What can we eat before the weekend starts, before I go shopping again? Um, so this is a great recipe for that as well. You can totally make more because this does yield a lot of leftovers. So you could make six, you know, sweet potatoes or something. So I'm, I'm, I love that we have lunch already for tomorrow. So the meat is all brown and that's all I'm doing is just making sure it's not red and raw anymore so I'm gonna turn it off and I am just going to work on this rice cauliflower making sure that it does not taste Asian like anymore no stir-fry no Asian stir-fry we want Mexican so I am going to add just a touch of the taco seasoning to the rice cauliflower to give it more of those flavors of like the paprika, the smoked paprika, the cumin. Oh, it already smells like I'm eating taco, like I'm having tacos. So that's a good sign. And I am just gonna add black beans to this mixture. I'm gonna add like about a half of a a can of black beans. Brian is not the biggest black bean fan, so I don't like to give him too many black beans because I know that he'll just kind of like pick them out, but I like them just for the fiber, for the protein. I'm gonna turn the heat off because everything is done. Cooking, it looks really good. It looks like a little Mexican dish. And I'm gonna taste this though, because I don't know what it tastes like if I don't taste it. It might need salt, it might need more taco seasoning, it might need some lemon or lime. Mm. Oh, it's perfect, it's really, really good. I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna add some lime juice over the tops of everything when it's done, but good to go. That's it, we are done. Now we're just gonna stuff them, put them in the oven to melt the cheese over the top, and we are done. So I'm gonna move the camera so you can see me better and let's stuff these babies. All right, so I start with the rice cauliflower mixture on the bottom and in Brian's sweet potato, I actually put more sweet potato in there because I know that he likes that flavor and we just stuff it. And I'm gonna just try to work around the majority of the beans so he doesn't get too many beans. 
but last time he didn't even seem to notice them because it tasted so good, so. All right. And I don't give him too much of the cauliflower mixture because I know that he wants the beef, so I top it with the beef and I top it with cheese. You can mix it all together, but I like to do them separately because we have the leftovers, so I just like to have things separate and then I put them together. So I'm gonna now stuff mine, and I have a sweet potato that is more hollow and it's a different shape, so it can it's actually like a boat, which is perfect. There wasn't any other ones that were this perfect, so. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is like the perfect little boat sweet potato for this recipe. All right, and I am gonna top myself off with some of this ground beef. Mm, so good. And if stuff spills out, it's it's supposed to be messy and spilly and yummy. Now I'm just topping some beef on Brian's and then I'm gonna top his with some cheese. I'm gonna skip the cheese for me personally, just because I am on this whole skin journey right now. And uh, I just, I'm trying to limit dairy as much as I can just to see I don't know, my skin is, uh, I have no makeup on right now. It's, it's really been the best it's ever, ever been. And if I don't need it, and if I'm not, if I was like dying for cheese, I would totally have it, but I'm not dying for cheese. So I'm gonna leave my cheese less, but I'm going to go crazy with Brian's. And I just have this light shredded Mexican cheese blend from Trader Joe's, of course. And I'm topping his off with cheese so it gets nice and melty. And I am just gonna put this in the oven until his cheese melts. And if you don't want cheese, then you're good to go. You could pop it in the oven maybe just to warm up like the sweet potato boat, if you will. But, oh my gosh, it's so, so yummy. And I'm gonna top mine with some guacamole and some salsa, so let's melt this cheese. My roasted broccoli just came out of the oven. It's nice and like charred on top, which I love. And I'm just gonna drizzle some lemon on it. I know I didn't show you this, it's just roasted broccoli. Um, but it's about 15, 10, 15 minutes in the oven, 425, salt, garlic powder, lemon, perfect. And while that cheese is melting, I just wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing with the leftovers. So I have the, the two um, sweet potatoes because I, I use two sweet potatoes, I cut them in half. So we have four halves and then I have um, the filling of the sweet potato. I just put this in a Tupperware and I will eat it, you know, with a different dinner or a lunch or whatever, Brian will have it. We will always eat sweet potatoes. And then after I'm done with dinner, I am just going to create two more of the exact same dish so that Brian can have it for lunch or I can have it for lunch, whatever. I just want to make sure that I fill it so that it's in the fridge so for a really quick and easy something to eat lunch dinner whatever it is it's done all I have to do is pop it in the oven to reheat it so just wanted to walk you through that this is great for meal prep I mean for meal prep this is so awesome I have two sweet potatoes you have four days of lunches so um, I will be doing that after we have dinner and lunch is done for tomorrow all right, the sweet potatoes came out of the oven. His cheese is all melty and perfect. And now we just transfer them to a plate. This was so simple, just a couple of minutes. Mm. So good. I am gonna be doing some, ooh. Some jalapenos for sure because I love that spice. I'm just gonna lay those like kind of over the top. I love them, so I'm gonna do a couple of them. And then I have some guacamole that we bought. This again was from Trader Joe's and it needs to be eaten. Babe, do you want any guac? No, okay. Not even a little bit? I'll take a little bit. Just a little dollop. And then some salsa. You 
just layer it on top. You want salsa, right, babe? Yes. And then I have some fresh cilantro. I'm just gonna put over the top of everything. And then just a little bit of lime. You can do lime, lemon, whatever. I just, that zest is really important to me. Makes all the difference. Then any leftover lime, I'm just gonna put on my broccoli. I love it. And the stuffed taco sweet potato. Taco stuffed sweet potato. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh, so yummy. I am gonna call Brian over here so he can eat this when it's nice and hot. His is loaded. Look at that meal. Your husband or boyfriend or whoever would love this. I know my husband does. It's so good and it's so satisfying. It's a meal that you finish and you are not hungry. It's a meal that is perfect, especially if you struggle with like late night cravings and stuff like that. There's fiber, there's protein, there's carbs, there's healthy fats, it's everything that you need. You're gonna be so satisfied. Give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna have dinner. Bye.